Hello, hello, hello! As you can tell, we are not on in Sandy Craft. This is a new prison server that I found while looking for some more servers to play on. Its name is Concept Prison, as you can see. Now, unlike most other ser uh, prison servers, this one's unique. This one, you have a five by five mi uh, chunk, five chunks by five chunks of a micro world. And you can, it would tell you to do, so let's just follow the thing. Do type slash mine to follow the tutorial to begin. Now, I've already played on this a bit. So it will say I have two micro worlds. So the tutorial will appear as a boss bar at the top, but it's very lacking right now as the server is an open beta and no one's on due to the amount of bugs not right now want to go so i forget exactly but if i recall it will ask you to grab your pick and start mining and Give me a it will ask you to start mining. Now, you won't mine as fast as I do, or have any of the stuff I have, obviously. But we'll get into that in a moment. So, as you mine, you level up. Uh, you will gain pickaxe XP as shown in the bar on the right. Now the XP will count towards the, what's the word? Enchant your pick section, or the top blue of the brain and luck. Now what brain does is it increases, it gives you 10% more intelligence and it can go up to I think that's a million percent I don't know and the luck enchant will give you a chance for enchantments to activate in the enchant section there are five rarities obviously common uncommon rare very rare and legendary and you have a chance to get efficiency, a fortune, a night vision, blaze, fist or fishy lungs, which is why I have night vision, water breathing, and fire resistance. Now, the fortune and efficiency, they're the most important ones. Because once you can get efficiency to max for the insta break, it will make this a lot easier in your inventory you'll you will start with a cobble transmit transfu transformator tra transformer hmm. any case this what this block uh, device does is quite simple so instead of normal when you break cobblestone stone you obviously get stone but when you break diorite or andesite you would get those what the device does is just turns it into stone as well. Now, this is take is useful for the second section we're going into. Actually, before that, I've checked this. I sh we should go back. To, I'm going to go back to spawn to show you where you would buy micro worlds if you ever want to get more. Now. Micro worlds cost 160 gems and is located at the gem shop right behind spawn. 120, sorry. And there are also booster pies, but I haven't played long enough to actually get it, so. I don't exactly know. 
I'm sorry, one pie gives a boost for four days? That's odd. And why would you give Slash Chomp as a perk? Since, anyways, with Mega Worlds, it's a random one, so you could get lucky or you could get, get unlucky. Now, to get gems, you either vote and you'll get loot boxes. Now, a fair warning do not right click these on the ground. Big search in the air since there are some current breaking bugs in the game involving loot boxes and the ore crafter. And the bugs are quite simple. They, if you place them down it play, and try to break it, it won't give you it back. For example, if you do or block crafter, it will just give you back a normal crafting table. Now, I got lucky and got some compressed cobble. Now, at first that doesn't sound too good, but in the tutorial, it should tell you to buy a factory. Now, I currently have all three of them. More factories will be coming soon eventually. Again, open beta. And when you buy an enchant, it will give you a piece of wool. And you do a random. Oh look, you got fortune. And so on and so on. Now some commands don't work that feel like they should. So most of these are empty. There are not enough people on the server for a chat reaction to even happen. Don't even think the plugin is in yet. They and most bugs that have been found, uh, most bugs that are known has already been found and reported. There will be customers eventually from the looks of it. And I'm not too sure why the robot miner is all the way over here. But what he does is he will generate compressed cobblestone over time. From the looks of it, you will be able to tell him to mine other stuff. He's expensive to upgrade. Uh, next is ore shards. These things. Now, ore shards are quite simple, actually. What they are is this server's term of ore, obviously. But what I mean by that is... There we go. So each ore will give you a certain amount of ore shards depending on your fortune. Now the reason they're turned... And you would normally have to go into the crafting and make a block of these manually but since I've obtained eight stacks of these I made a crafter which automatically does this process now there are some other recipes as far as I know a cobblestone transfuser which I assume you have to make. I'm not too sure about this one, but I think they give it to you at the start. No way, no. They give you just... No? I don't know. I think they just give you the cobblestone compressor. So you have to... Or they give you something. That's all I can say. Now for the tools, they are completely unbreakable. They have max fortune. Like fortune efficiency 7. On everything. These are useful for, nope, when you go in worlds and you want to cut down trees or get rid of sand. It's quite simple, if you think about it. Quite simple indeed.
Sorry about that. Um, now, some other things to talk about. All enchants will be set down to level 1. And, as you may guess, to level up a new enchant, you'll need the previous tier... I'm just gonna... So to get, let's say you have tier 1 already, and to get to tier 2, you need to give it another tier 1 in this menu. You put your pick here, and then your enchant here. Now in this menu is where you would upgrade to a tier 2. Rinse and repeat as many times. It gets harder and harder the higher up it is, obviously. Once you get, are able to get a rare at a steady pace of in, intelligence, you will be able to have a chance to get Quick Learner. Now what Quick Learner does is quite straightforward. It gives you more, it literally says, it, you gain more intelligence more quickly. So you gain more points to buy more enchants quickly. I'm not too sure what XP does. I think it's referring to the XP that you get for the levels. And I have not been able to get, I haven't had, I, ugh, I do not have haste just yet. It's a bit trickier to get. Because one of the more rarer ones in the rare list. Did not think I'd be saying that, but here I am. Now what your factories do, now let's go to factories. Check that off. Auto miner, devices, crafting. Now, actually no, let's, let's, no. There you go. Rewards can be claimed every hour. You have a chance, you'll get 10 gems and a thousand bucks. Did the pickaxe XP that, no, intellect shop. Oh yeah, the so GUI. So when you do the command so GUI, I'm not sure where this is supposed to be taking. Since if we do this, it's not too much of a loss. And this and then close it no items get sold so I don't know what plugin that one is but that command is not the right one you will have to go inside your pickaxe click the emerald and then put what you want in here to sell for example some compressed cobble or some cobblestone, and then click sell all. Now, obviously, it's not worth much, but that's how you get some money. Or you could also try to level up your banker, but I don't touch that. What the real money is, is these guys, tier one topaz. That's two grand for that much. The downside is, Topaz needs factories to be made. Now, I am currently working on getting this factory onto Generation 2. And to level upgrade it, it will cost... Actually, to upgrade level 3, it will cost 15 Topaz, which I'm not doing because I'm focusing on one first. If I can get this to Generation 2, I have a guess that I might be able to craft Tier 2 Topaz. But, I'm not too sure of the requirements. I have a sneaky suspicion it's going to need a Tier 2 and some more compressed. Tick speeds... Are increased so if you have if you're in a jungle uh, try to clear it out 
because the Valiants will start to get annoying. And for a storage like this, it's in the service shop, which is at spawn. We'll go back there in a moment. And, well, it costs 10000 And normal crafting doesn't work. Speaking of spawn, let's head back. At spawn, you will also, you will see the typical NPCs there, but you will also see a NPC over here. Now, ignoring the top, he is where you will turn into a leaderboard. His missions are ridiculous. They're not meant for new players at all. As it says, for the Topaz leaderboard, you need to give Jeffrey the following. 16 tier 5 Topaz and 1 million money. I can't imagine how much that would be. Of how much mining. Wards, voting, there is an auction house, but as I said, the server is fairly dull. But it, if you do join and you see me on, feel free to say hi. Now, I'm not trying, I'm being, I'm going to be real, I'm not trying to promote it. Since this is just open beta, everything will get reset possibly. But like, it's an interesting concept. I feel like more people need to know about this. But at the same time, who, who's really going to watch? Oh! My bad. If you do see it, um, I might. And make sure to check AAH if you hop on and I am on. Since I might be putting some enchants up on here. Now, they will probably be like tier 5, tier 3s. Or level 5 or level 3s of like efficiency or fortune. If needed, lowest you can go is a thousand, so can't really control that. Now, the Discord link will be in the description for this server, as well as the server IP. Now, there's a good reason for almost not being on, as far as I know, it's simple. There's too many valves, most things are groundbreaking. Game breaking. But, what I do know for sure, is they need to work on their tutorial. Jeez. That thing, it just pops up and then disappears sometimes. One of the missions that it told me is before it disappeared, after getting a pickaxe level and buying a second factory, because I accidentally made the mistake to buy one ahead of the quest, it didn't register, um, is get it to tier 15. If I remember correctly. Tier 15 is the max before it goes to generation 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. I'm no speed guides. I know nothing of this. Too, I don't know too much of this. They seem to have prepped more slots, or this is just the circle pattern. It's quite an interesting one, I guess. Not sure why they chose that for the NPC slot. There are no warps. There is little. He there's not even help command. Menu. Menu. And. Uh, 
yeah, there's more bugs that I do not know of, so I cannot warn. There are some interesting physics and placements. Okay, so I didn't realize how long it will take to get 640. So I'm going to do that off cam. Like, this video is just meant to give a little introduction, I guess, of this server. Whoa, this just got upward. There he is. Well, that's all for this video. Quick introduction. Apparently, even spotting the owner, Andrew. Until next time.